Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the latest application to hit the PS4 with the Share Factory, which enables all you would-be creators to edit your videos and make your masterpieces even more special before you share them with the wider audience. So basically, I'm just going to jump right into a new project and just give you a basic overview of the features and the things that you can do with the Share Factory. So first up, you've got a selection of themes which you can choose. Now, I'm not sure if any more themes will become available um, over time. I'm, I assume uh, some will be uploaded um, from Sony. But at the moment, there's four different themes that you can choose. So we're just going to go with an uh, infamous Second Son. And what the, basically the theme does is it adds an intro and an outro um, section to your video. I mean, you can actually delete them off if you don't want them. Um, but I think at this point in time, you do have to... Yep, you can't um, not choose one. So we'll just go with an infamous second son. So that's added three clips to your maximum amount. Now, if you look on the bottom left there, you can see that you've got a maximum of 40 different clips you can add um, with a maximum total time of 20 minutes. So what happens if you've got a video that's like 15 minutes, and then you want to add another video that's 15 minutes... Um, Obviously, you can't put them both together, but say you want to take a section from the first video, say five minutes, then another five minutes from the other video. What you'd have to do is um, let's just demonstrate that with uh, Infamous Second Son. So I'll list by game, which is a handy feature. And there's a video. So you just tick that and then we'll just jump right in, start the project. Don't need to rename it. We'll just continue straight on. So here you can now see the sort of basic interface where you've got the intro as we spoke from the theme and then you've got the uh, video itself which is a long 15 minute video so from what I said earlier you want to add one section of this video then let's say we want to transition to a video from Metal Gear or um, Killzone so we'll just go 10 se 15 seconds into the clip so now what you've got to realize here is that what the system is, is when you press the square button, it gives you a list of things that you want to tie to your X button. And then once you've selected it, then that's what the X button will do. So, for example, we want to split the clip. Let's say we want to make multiple splits here on this actual video. So we'll select split clip. So it doesn't actually split the clip where you've, you've put your um, timeline. It's now pinned to that X button. So you press X again on the 15 second mark oops well, it's not it wouldn't let me do it on the 15 second mark we'll just do it on the 16 second and you can see it's now come up so you split the clip and it's confirmed so there's one split so if we want to split it again move it along then so obviously you can't split extremely close to each other so you've got to have a slight difference in length and we just split let's see how close we can go yeah so obviously you can't split in increments less than one second so 17 seconds 18 seconds we can split so that's not bad one second splits that's, that's cool so let's just split it at 20 seconds Right, it was split. So that basically that split is now locked onto that button. So you have to come out of there, you just press the X the square button. Sorry, the circle button to come back out. And then that's re now removed the split from your sort of X, which is the hot key. And then you can then press the square button to choose what you want to do next. So if you want to delete the clip, we can then delete that section off. Now remember earlier I said what happens if you want to now add another clip because that was too long to add you now highlight an empty section and add clip and then it will come back to your menu so now we can then select let's say um, that Metal Gear solid clip which is 14 minutes highlight that press the square button and um, we can now edit the clip it's not a very interesting clip so we'll delete that off try something a bit better so what you do is select delete clip and that will just delete that off so let's say between these two clips that we made we want to add 
another video. So we highlight between. I mean, let's just reverse a bit for a second here. The shoulder buttons R1 and R L1. They enable you to cycle through your clips or your transitions. So that me immediately puts your timeline at the start or end of the transition. So if you want to now add a clip between those two clips, that's the best way to do it. If you use the right thumbstick, that enables you to cycle through the clip in sort of, um, well, depending on how much pressure you add to the, the stick, it'll let you sort of move through it forward and backwards. If you want to just play the clip normally, you just swipe using the um, touchpad and then press it again to pause it. So we want to add the clip in between those two clips. So we add a clip and then we'll just add a bit of kill zone. It's a 15 minute clip so we'll select that. And remember you've got to make sure it's the entire section is less than 20 minutes. So we'll add that. Press square to add. So that's a massively long clip. So what we want to do we want to just add a few seconds. So we'll go back to the split clip tool and we'll just split that there and then we can delete that clip. You can automatically do that without selecting the delete clip as long as you're highlighting over the clip you want to delete and that's deleted it. So there you go, that's how you add clips from multiple different clips onto one timeline to make one sort of video of montages of um, various scenes from different games. I mean let's just do one more quickly just to Highlight once again how you do it. So set your timeline between two clips by pushing L1 or R2. Then basically press this X button. And that will allow you to add the clip. So we'll choose uh, Metal Gear. Um, that one wasn't very interesting. The other one we'll choose this one here. And then use the square button to add the clip. Right, there you go. We'll add a few seconds of Big Boss rolling about on the floor. Now we want to split the clip, so basically push the square button to bring up your tools. And then select split clip, and then we'll just split it on that particular point there. And bam, and then just delete the clip by moving the timeline across with the right thumbstick. And then press the square button just to delete the whole of that other video. So there we are, we've just got that small section that we've snipped. Now as you can see now, I've actually put it in the wrong place. So I need to now move this clip. So what we need to do is come out of there. Go to tools and move clip. And then you can just move the L and R to move that wherever you want to place it, which is quite handy. So we can just stick it between where we wanted it, which is just at the end. And we apply that. So there you go. That's basic moving your clips and putting them in, trimming them. And putting them between your sort of uh now remember i said earlier you might not want to have these kind of um intro and outro sequences i mean this one's infamous and the the video has got different clips so basically all you'd have to do is just highlight the clip and um remove it by deleting it so you'd select delete clip but we don't want to do that for now we we'll just leave that in for the moment Right, so the next up is these transitions. So what you want to do, you want to highlight the transition. And we can now edit the transition by going to the tools. So we can either de delete it or we can replace it. But we'll leave that one blank for now, actually. What we'll do, we'll just roll over to a different transition in between our actual clips. Because we don't want them just to roll into each other. it look a bit boring. So what you can do, as I said, use the R1 and L1 to get to the point you want. Press the um, Tools button. So I press the X, the X button. And then you want to add a transition. And now you come up to a whole list of different wacky transitions you can use I mean there's a few of them here and they're in different categories you've got basic kind of cross fades and fade to blacks um, you've also got wipes and the cinematic crazy stuff um, well, I'll just choose 
Obviously, you can see the lengths of time. You can sort of play them as well to preview it. So we put that in now. And you can see there, it's got those funny... So if we play that, you'll just see how that looks. Those playroom characters running across the screen. So if you want to edit that now, just highlight it. Press the X button. And we can add a transition. Uh, we'll choose the um, triangle. I mean, if you push R2 at this point, you'll get a preview of what it looks like, just to give you an idea before you commit to it. So we've added that now. So if you notice, if you select the start of the clip, the transition comes onto the end of the clip. So to edit the actual transition with the, the men running across, you've got to highlight it. And then you edit transition, and that gives you the option to delete it or replace it. So we'll replace it with a different transition. We'll use the circles and then we can just go back and play it. That's how it looks. Just do that again. So that's pretty cool. And this is the next one. The triangle. So you get a basic idea. So again using the touchpad to pause and play and then obviously I can Use the right thumbstick to move through. Now, there's other things you can do as well. Let's go to the start of the Metal Gear video. If we now select Edit Effects, no, that's not what I want to do. Go back. Right, we don't want it actually on. Let's see, what you need to do is return and then add an effect. Right. So basically, you now can add these uh, rather interesting stickers to your video. So let's just, after that mess up I've just done there, really appropriate, we'll select fail. Because that was a pretty failure. Which will add to the screen, as you can see there. You can increase its size. Obviously, it's underneath the um, transition, which isn't good. So we'll just put it after the transition, because obviously that's... Um, let's just move it across a bit. You don't really want it over the transition, so we just put it here. I mean, making it even more appropriate now. So we'll highlight that. Return. Add an effect. Select the fail. So transform allows you just to move it around. Put it anywhere on the screen. L1 allows you to zoom it in shrink it and enlarge it, put it in the top corner, you can then rotate it with the uh, left and right triggers and then when you're happy with where it is, just leave it there, you just push X to confirm and then the um, op opacity obviously will change how prominent it is on the screen, so you could have it quite faded or you could have it quite bold, uh, that's pretty standard stuff. And then obviously you can delete that. So that goes across the whole of that video. I'm not sure if there's a way you can um, determine how long that appears for, but uh, I guess what you'd have to do is you would um, split the video and then delete it off it. So let me just show you how you would do that. So we come out of here, we confirm that that's okay. So basically we don't fail appearing over the whole of that clip. We just want it at the beginning of the clip. So what you do is you'd go to your tools, you'd split clip, select that, so split it in the middle. 
and then you lose that fail over there. It stays on there, and it's removed off of that bit there. There's no transition, so that's lovely. It's perfect. And then I can add another effect to the uh, next section if I wanted to. So let's try and do that. So we'll select, add an effect, and I'll put Pioned instead. And that's fine where it is. And that's cool. So now, confirm that. So you've got Fail on that one, and Pioned on that one. Right, so there are other things you can do as well. I mean, this doesn't end there. Obviously, people that love to talk um, can sort of add commentary to their videos. So if we come out of here, select, add commentary, you're then able to record commentary over the um, section. Obviously, I don't have a mic connected, so it's not going to allow me to do that for the time being. But if you use the um, PS4 headset, you can add commentary and then obviously you can then edit that commentary as well. There's also an option to um, edit music. Um, if we just quickly look at that. Now I'm not sure how you can work this. I assume you can either import some music perhaps or edit the actual game soundtrack. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to do that right now. But the options available are you can trim it, move it and delete it. So let's see if we can split the music. Well, no, because there's no. I don't think there's, there's a music track added. So basically, it's not letting me um, split it. But um, I could split and delete a section of music that I've added. Okay, I think that gives you a good idea of the basics. And then obviously, once you are finished with your creation, you have the option now, as you see on the bottom right, to view the whole video as a whole. So if you push L2... You can go full screen, so we go back to the beginning and play it full screen. And here's our creation. I mean, you can edit the title, change the colour and all that text at the beginning. So it's a bit irrelevant, the um, infamous second son. So there's the uh, intro. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. So this is our video. Remember, it's a very short clip. And the transition. You have a transition with the fail. Pioned. And then the end of the video. So if you're happy with that and all those edits, you can then obviously select options, render the movie, or save the project. We'll just save the project for now. And um, once it's rendered, you're then able to share that with your fans who will love your edits that you've done. So with a bit of imagination, you can really do some pretty impressive stuff with the um, studio here. But I think that gives you a good idea of the basics. I mean, it's a bit fiddly to begin with, but once you sort of master the basics, um, then it's pretty straightforward stuff, especially if you're kind of used to video editing software before. If not, then it's very easy to pick up and learn. you just got to experiment with it and just try... Um, you're not going to lose anything by trying, are you? Okay, I think that's a good idea. I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching. We got there in the end. Hurrah!